Goedemorgen van mij, voor ochtend. Good morning, Namibia and the rest of the world. <laughs> op die uh, maandag ochtend, de 24ste. Yes. The 24th of October, we had a very, very busy weekend. Yeah. Believe it or not, there were so many activities in Namibia, throughout Namibia. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot to talk about today. Dit is verseker so, en uh, ons wil net begin dier baie dag, het sê dat ons kon lekker saam keir by Stellenbosch, vrijdag. Yes. Uh, dit was wonderlijk geweest vir uh, Chef Nick Diener en sy span. Ja. Um, Lynette daar by die tasting room en haar, haar span mense wat vir ons gesorg het. Mm -hmm. Ek dink dit was rarig waar um, net een wonderlijke ervaring ons sien uit om spoedig weer saam te laten keir. Yes. So, meer van dit, so klein bykie later. Dit was a lot of fun. Gepraat van keir, uh, Kalfie, um, Ek dink jy moet, uh, kyk, is meer in jou, in jou wereld, mm -hmm. is meer jou plaase vruchte, uh, die feest hierdie week, die groot feest. Ek dink baie mense het die naweek geoefen, <laughs> om te sê, praast, maar yes. hierdie week, this is week die is groot, this week is going to happen. So vertel vir ons. So, uh, the big Oktoberfest is starting this week, um, as of Thursday, I do believe on Thursday there's a corporate evening yeah. with specific guests and then on Friday night obviously, uh, Friday from the course of the afternoon into Friday night and then of course Saturday is going to be the big day with the Kirchdorfer band and also the Jägermeister um, band, uh, band mm -hmm. and also of course all the games, uh, everything that's taking place. It's really going to be exciting. On Wednesday, in fact, we're going to have an outside broadcast from the Oktoberfest premises, yep. Yep. Uh, from the Namibia breweries, and uh, I'm, I'm actually so excited about this week. It's, it's really going to be fun. Ja, ek sê vreselik uit daarna, want dit is een groot feest hierdie week. Ja. Um, en hierdie jaarse Oktoberfeest uh, beloof een van die grootste te wees. Mm -hmm. uh, ons weet dat ons die afgelopen twee jaar het ons nie raarig waar Oktoberfeest gehad nie. Maar die van julle uit Zuid-Afrika wat dan ook die plannen gemaakt het, die toeklim in die karrekie, is nie so ver nie. Um, as jy woensdag oogend vertrek, is jy betijds vir die eerste paar bieren hier donderdag middag 12. Yes. Kan jy die eerste paar bieren drink, en dan kan jy lekker tot zondag, en dan uh, kan jy weer zondag sy koers na middag maar vertrek, en dan is jy weer maandag middag by die huis. Behalwe as jy soos ons in Maak Barnard vir oogend gesê, <laughs> en ons jong daar, ja. het ons hier in die karrekie geklim, maar hy is gauw kaap toe, en dan is ons saterdag aantal weer terug. Mm -hmm. Je weet, so gul vrijdag, maar toe het ons nog in die nacht gereik. Yes. Ek uh, wees daar op my oud droom, as die son sak, wil ek iwers knus wees waar ek een koude bier kan druk. Maar ek rij nie in die nacht, en nie maar weet nie. Trouwens, ek rij nie na die son ondergegaan het. O Daan Roe, een vriend van ons van Infostream, hy het altyd gesê, dat ek leer my ening van nie maar weer, die wild op die Namibiese paaie, en as twee soorte wild, as iemand met vier, vier pote loop, Mm -hmm. En as daar een wat met vier wielen rijd, let sikke nommers op. Hy wilt is genommer. Uh, as die son sak, raak hulle hoelig. So, sorg dat jy by jou thuis te is, of sorg dat jy by jou plek is waar jy wil wees. Of ris halfpad, maar moet nie na, na ieder rijd nie. Um, Kalfie, anders is het ding gezond, gezond by jou. Ek het nou so pas die korant verloor. Ek okay. dink hy leed daar by jou. Die Republikein lees op. <laughs> Ons kyk wat gaan aan vir ochtend. Ja, in the newspapers this morning, and we are looking at the Namibian this morning. Uh, the Namibian today, the 24th of October. Hatikulipi funded Swapo campaigns, according to Omokwil. However, Shaninga insists Swapo did not benefit. And uh, Armas Amokwil said, a donation was given to us by certain James Hatikulipi, who said thank you, or we said thank you, mm. we did not know the money was stolen. Oh, yeah. So how does this work now? If I come to you now, Dirk, mm. and I give you a big amount of money, mm. isn't it to a large degree then also your duty to ensure that that money that I'm giving you is not monies that have been acquired by criminal activity? What third party do we then have to employ to make sure that donations and gifts are in fact not stolen money? Dit is hard seer, maar dit is ongelukkig so, dat dees daar kan een transaksie nie meer gedoen word met de handskut. Yes, Onthou jy you, die daar, want jy was in die bank wezen gewees, yes. toe iemand vir jou gesê het, dankie meneer Kaufman, 
Ek koop hierdie voertuig. Ja. Ek bring die geld vir yes. hier. Handshake business. W- wanne, wanne laas ek jy so iets beleef? No, en dan no. het die persoon, persoene, mm. hulle woord gestand gedoen. Yes. Daai handskit was maak of breek. Doe Correct. Het. That's it. So, Wees daar beteken net iets anders ter. Now let me add a, another fact into this. Mm. This money must have been transferred by certain banks. This why why? What did the banks do to ensure that the money that has been given as a donation to the ruling party, that that money, that the bank made, why didn't the bank make sure that that money wasn't mm. criminally acquired, stolen, whatever we want to use it? Yet, when uh, John Soap wants to go and have, a, and have himself a, a small car financed at an amount of two and a half thousand, three thousand Namibia dollars per month, that person needs to fill in all the paperwork, Precies. Precies. has to do everything, but we just have donations being given to the ruling party, and then they said thank you, and they didn't realize the money was stolen. And I can far that the donation was not 2,000 Namibia dollars. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't like 50 bucks. I mean, nowadays, with the new uh, Lottery Act, um, institutions are not even allowed to dish out prizes anymore. Je kan nie meer, jy kan nie meer lottery kaartjes. Schools, schools are not allowed to do fundraisers nee. for certain nee. sports teams nee. to go on nee. international trips or, nee. or, or you're not allowed nee. to do this. Nee. However, on the front page of the newspaper <laughs> this morning, stolen money, apparently stolen money ja. has been donated. Um, Kavius beweeg van die een naar die andere ene. Wow. Um, ons het hier op die, op die voorblad ook um, net so, so rechts van die, van die hoofdbrug um, is daar uh, opskrif wat lees, twee mense verdrink in die damp, dis by Swakko Poort, dan ons het daar oor gepraat, Swakko Poort net by die kant ook aan, ja. Nou ons het laatste keer vir julle vertel, so twee weke gelede, dat by Swakko Poort op hierdie stadium die onregelmatige visvang is heel te mal nou by te beheer. Uh, die hoeveelheid vis by die tonnemaat wat daar uitgesleep word, mm-hmm. uh, dier, dier squatterkamp mense, yes. um, het nou heel te mal by te beheer geraak. So veel so daar gevrees word, dat die vis een van die daar nie meer in die dam gaan bestaan. Twee mense het echter hierdie naweek verdrink, en hulle het polystyrene gebruik, right. en om daarop te drijf, en hulle nette dan te spa. Ok, so a type of a floating device. A floating device, precies okay. dit wat het is, <coughs> en hulle het in die water geval, en ongelukkig, het hulle verdrink. Uh, nou, dit is een van die histories wat mense sê nou boinkie sy noinkie. Ek weet dan nie, um, jy weet, niemand sy leven wat geëis word, is uh, vir iemand anders om oor te lach nie. Maar die punt is net, is dit nie dat jy verdien hier waarvoor jy nou gesoek het nie. Want mm. uh, daar is bericht gegee dat die dat waterweese of nemwater sal optree, uh, die politie sal optree, alhoewel die informele nedersetting langs die dam um, daar is nog niks daar aan gedoen nie. Mense vang nog steeds op die manier vis. Um, en dan een ander die hart sier ene, tussen 18 en 20 oktober nog, een witte noorster um, gestroop. En uh, die ouwens het het gekry, ongelukkig op die stadium, hoorings is al reeds verweider. Die karkas was om die waarheid op die 20ste oktober. Is dit, uh, so we now standing, if I'm not mistaken, on 57. 57, ja. 57 rhinos that have been poached ja. in Namibia this year. Ja. And please remember, it's still October. <laughs> There's still two months to ja. go. And last year we had 44. Ja, en verlede week is die meester, een van die meesterbreine van de noorste stroping in Namibia, het ontstap uit politie aanhouding. Right. En as ek nie verkeerd is, is dit die tweede keer dat iemand ontstap. Yes. Op mysterieuze wijze, uh, met de verskoning aan die constabel, uh, ek wil net ge- ge- toilet toe gaan. Yes. Maar dan wat vir baie, baie interessant is, elke keer wacht daar een motorkar mm-hmm. op daar die plek. Ja. En die persoon is nog steeds soek. Ek dink, uh, as jy my opinie vraag, is hier die ontsnapte, uh, dis die Chinese burger. Mm-hmm. Um, is lang kal uh, op een plekkie waar daar na hartelis een champagnekie gedrink word op die uh, sierge. And then also what we are seeing in Namibia at the moment, and this has been reported by one of the newspapers last week, and we just touched a base on this, is that there are in certain government organizations and certain parastatals where people are employed, then they go and do um, uh, shady deals 
Correct. And then once that deal is about to go through, then that person resigns, and then subsequently those individuals cannot be investigated yeah. anymore well, that's because they've now resigned. Yeah. 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 So, this is one of the things that is nogal mysterious. Is. Uh, moeilijk ons, uh, ons bezoekers vir oogend, dit well, is iemand ons het, wat al morgen sê. Ja, ons het al uh, van ons kijkers hier so vir oogend sê ons weer um, hallo aan André Karstens, ook hallo aan Karikies Karstens, Joep Nel is ook saam met ons van oogend, Peri Soudens sê hallo manne, al klaar lekker, ja, nee, lekker warm, ek stem heel veel saam, dit is wel redelijk bedompig, Wijn Andrie dus op morgen morgen, Karen Malan, hallo Karen, dit is allemaal lekker om julle van oogend hier so by ons op infostream Dit is een typische blauw maandag, zo um, <laughs> so verskoon as ons so bykie rukkerig is en uh, uh -huh. dit lyk like asof die, die internet vir oogend ons weer bykie in die steek laat, maar yes. ek dink is miskien maar net na die nawet. Lyk like, my altijd op een maandag, <laughs> die internet so bykie, ons sal uh, melding maak daarvan, uh, ons uh, verskafferparaat is bel, ons yes. sê luister hier so, doen iets daar <laughs> Onszelf mooi aangetrek voor ogen, maar ze iedereen laat het niet in de steek. Nou, Peri, uh, Sauron zei: die snaakse van alles is dat nadat die vetter, vetter oog dier die padblokkade is en verdwijnt het, is hulle nou erg paraat bij die padblokkade bij Okahan. Ja, this is also quite interesting. We see this. The moment a big crime has been commit, committed, let's say poaching, mm. uh, let's say a fleeing, uh, what do you call it, fugitive, you know. All these roadblocks, they tend to pop up in hindsight. Ja, je hebt hem al nou, nou voor de Maar die yeah. is lang al weg. Ja. Hij is lang al weer weg in Angola en weer uit Angola uit. Maar je hebt hem al weg. Nou wordt allemaal zijn voertuig weer zoek. Om yes. te wat? Yes. Uh, om te wat? Mag ik zeggen, ik hoor praat van na de maal. Ook Anja pleit voor eerste minister zijn ingrijpen. Nou, dit is nou interessant. En in, woners van die tuindorp, die tuindorp. Um, het een klagskrif aan die eerste minister sy kantoor oorhandig en pleit daarin vir dienstlevering, grondbesitting en ontwikkeling. Aha. En wat hier plaas vind, is dat hierdie mense vormen een formele nederzetten. Um, bewoon die huise, bly dan vir een baie lang tyd daar en gaan dan naar die eerste minister en sê, weet jy wat, ons soek nou paie, riool en water. Die vraag wat ek het, moet dit nie anders omwerk nie? Moet dit nie een kwestie wees van een nederzetting wordt gevormd nadat die werken een plek gesteld is. Na dit paaie aan gelees, water en kracht. In ieder geval wat hier gebeur is, dat is een mas massieve nederzetting wat, wat gevormd is, gestig is, en nou gaan die inwoners naar die eerste ministers kantoor en sê, nou sorg jylle vir ons vir water en vir jylwerke en vir yes. paaie. Ek verstaan nie, dit is so bykie die donkie kar voor die donkie span. Maar blijkbaar is dit hoe dit gedoen wordt, uh, Kalfi. So, in terms of these informal settlements, yeah. which we've been growing used to in Namibia over the last 30 years, um, there were e the German newspaper today is reporting, reporting that just with the rains that we've had up to now, mm. there were 11 families yeah. that were now stranded because their houses washed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it work in the in our African Quran dat elf gezinnen wat dakloos gelaat. Maar luister hier nou, uh, Kalfi. Mm -hmm. Hy het op die, op die rivier wal uit die gebou. Right. Eindelijk soveel so dat het al reeds een gevaar was. En toe kom die stormwaters en was alles weg. Toe bel hulle die brandweer en sê, luister hier, ons is in die nood. Ons huis het weggespoel. Kom help ons asjeblief. Oké. Okay. Goed, toe kom die brandweer daar en die brandweer kon niks doen nie, want dit was al reeds te laat. Die mensen zitten oor nacht op stoelen in wacht. Wat hulle nou sê is, dat die brandweer het nie eerst vir hulle komberse of koos gebring mm. om hulle daai nacht te help nie. Mm. En weer eens een situasie van, hoekom bou jy daar? Um, een van die inwoners mm. klaar sê dat hulle kinders met examens skryf en het geen boeken meer oor nie. Alles het weggespoel. Een van die andere inwoners sê, hy is bekommerd, want sy licentie en sy vuurwapen het weggespoel. Mm -hmm. So, interessante situasie, ek voel baie jammer vir die mense, en ek is seker die mense, wat hulle tyd sal doen wat hulle kan doen, weer eens een kwestie van, 
Dit is een beetje mosterd na die maal. Ja. Goed, um, wie zijn nog voor ons voor ochtend? Uh, Joep Mel heeft ook voor ons gejoined. Het voor gevra of die oktoberfeest van hierin nou ik wat voorbij is ons gebrek het. Nee Joep, die oktoberfeest heeft ons niet gebrek het. Goed, uh, ons zit weer vermaakbaar naar vandaag is ik ga een beetje sport gezels. Kom eens kijken, eerst naar de advertentie. Vintage Bar and Grill. At Vintage, we simply love our music. We have a variety of live bands playing in our beer garden every Friday and Saturday from 2 to 6. From Wednesdays to Saturdays our great DJ keeps the place rocking from 7 to 12 in the evening. We also have karaoke every other Thursday where you can come and sing your heart out. So I guess you can say it's a music lover's paradise? Vintage Bar and Grill. Always a good time. FJ Logistics. We do road freight, mostly from our neighboring countries. We do air freight, from all over the world. And we even do ocean freight, for those not so easy cargoes. Most of all, we guarantee to always deliver on time. FJ Logistics. Give us a call today. Have you back yeah, with us, right, Mark? Good morning, morning. Yes, and you uh, sent us a message on Friday. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. How was your weekend? It was well, it wasn't as exciting as yours. Oh, okay. Uh, I wasn't at the Oktoberfest, but, uh, <laughs> but sport-wise, it was great. It was super. Right, um, Mark. I shall not grow any. I get now for the morning to wakker word. To begin, I get now eight hours in the morning. Weet, dit is zo so lekker. Het was iemand die reed wat, wat sport mal is en wat die sport volg. So ek sien nou baie uit daarna dat jy, uh, dat jy vir ons die maanda sport hanteer. Ja, dit sal kreeg wees, uh, dankie. Kom ons begin maar eerst. Yes. Sien die naweek, mm. uh, is een groot hockey. Um, die springbok span, indoor, die mans en die vrouwens, kom wind ook toe. So we've got some in, an international tests to be played at the showgrounds. Okay. Um, it's on the 28th and the 29th and the 30th, and the games are from 10:30 in the morning. Right. And um, obviously, our Namibian uh, hockey sides have done very, very well when it comes to uh, indoor hockey. Yes. And it's going to be exciting to see ourselves measure up against Springboks. And um, so I think we must get out there, support them. Right. I mean, we've, our cricket side is um, they returning home tonight. Yeah. So it's time now yeah. to support. It's time now to support the hockey as well. Do, do you perhaps know if David Visa is coming to Namibia or is he going back to the to Europe? I don't think he's coming with now. Okay. Um, but I will go get all that info. We get right. to arrange um, that we can get some of the players have a chat with them. Fantastic. That's all. Nice. That'll That'll be just the feeling yeah. and how it was and how what they felt it was like the World Cup. Yes. What it's yes. like mixing, rubbing shoulders with these top guys. Yeah. It yeah. Be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Nee, I think, but it was a. Dit was een stukje van geschiedenis wat gemaakt is. Ja. Ik weet dat David Wies heeft gezegd, zolang die Eagles span roep, zal ik beschikbaar zijn. Dat ja. is een mooie woorden van hem daar. So basically is David Wies telling us that he is not going to retire as yet. We need him. Uh, we, we need, need, we need so. his experience in that. And with ja. T T20, you know, even, even the three of us could maybe still. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, it's, it's <laughs> not, as, not as bad as test cricket in your 50 overs. And I right. mean, and he's valuable for them. The Absolutely. Side, as we know. And, uh, I mean, he showed that with that last knock. I think, yes. I think David Wiese is a secret on Maklik over the 15 years that he cricket spelled. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can Google him, you can see his. Yeah, never say so. He's a serious player. He's, he's but I think we've got a lot of young Namibians which are very, very serious and, and, and good players as well. Yeah. But talking about the hockey quickly, um, Walfus yep. Bay, they actually have just had um, uh, uh, put, put down their first Astro. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Astro okay. uh, hockey. And um, I mean, I think it was like six and a half million. Wow. So, but what is normally what happens in Namibia, as we all know, everything mm. happens in Vintuk. So now right. they're being right. this new Astro, you know, we can now spread, spread the love, spread the hockey. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we can sure. get down to Walfus Bay. The kids there, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to be playing on, on Astro. 
um, which is good. I mean, we want to still go to, you must probably World Cup qualifiers and that for hockey. Yes. You've got to be on Astro. I mean, you have to. You, you have to just be on that level. Yeah, for sure. That's what I've never said. You have to play with the international standards. Let, let me maybe just share uh, an experience with you, what I had in, 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 in school, in, well, early high school in Tsumem. Um, I was pretty good at, at high jump. But our, our facilities there, we had these sponges that were put into fish nets, you know, and then we, and, and then it was, at, at that time, the Falsberry flop just came out. It was this whole new thing. And I actually made it all the way through to Swikes. Remember, Swikes was the Southwest African Interschools Competition. competition. Right. And I arrived here and we just had the stadium redone. It was a, t a, a tartan a a a yeah. track. And they, the high jump facility had four poles with like a sail over it. Not the, not the mattress. Not the mattress. Not, not the, and I, it, it was psychologically for me such a problem that I literally fell out after the, no, after the first three yeah. jumps. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And I totally agree with you, Mark. If we want to compete on a specific international level, then we need to have the facilities available on that international level. Weet jylle, ek moet by jylle deel net, ek op woordskool was um, uh, in die vrystaat, het ek ook deel geneem aan sport. Er was skelm rook prijses <laughs> achter die swembad. Ja. En ek het eerste gekom. <laughs> want ek was hier enigste. Dit was hier een van die ouwens wat onder die paviljoen gestaan het en die girls <laughs> uitgekijk het. <laughs> well, dit ook, ja. Ek het een paar girls gehad dat ek uitgekijk het op woordskool. Uh, en so, so, een of twee baie specifiek. Maar ja, ja, kan vir nie, maar ons het my saam, ons allemaal om sport. Maak terug by die sport. En ja, oor, ek wil net gauw een ding sê oor, ons moet toch vir Christo, as Christo kyk. Mm. Ek weet, daar is, daar is groot, hulle het groot sport in die kom, dat hy ook sommer met ons de deel. Um, some of uh, some cells. Um, that was not on the lack of That obviously the World Cup, the T20, still continuing. Mm -hmm. There was massive games this weekend. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we had um, which I rated it was going to be a top side. Australia played against uh, New Zealand. Right. Um, New Zealand smashed 200 in the 20 overs against Australia. I mean, uh -huh. that's wow. the thought now what's happening here. Mm -hmm. And Australia were bowled out for 111. So you know, hey. that, like like what happened to Namibia. Yes. Mm -hmm. It can happen. That's that's what happens with the T20 game. Well, let's see that in the T20 cellar that that you you the ones what obvious winners is, and then start here by the pair. But even skill it net income and they just change the whole thing. These wild cards. These wild cards, yeah. precise yeah. what it is, yeah. And then yesterday was Pakistan against India. Now I rate those two sides to go through to the to the to the semi finals mm. at least. Um, mm. uh, we are now you know, with it with India and the youngsters that that's coming through from their side, I mean mm -hmm. they're getting better and better. Yes. And yesterday um, Pakistan um, they're a top side, like I said to you. But then Virat Kohli from India, I mean the Indians needed another 28 runs of the last eight deliveries. And then obviously Virat Kohli, he yeah. just came in and he smashed them 80 odd, not out. And India won that game. It was amazing. It was well, really, well. really great. Yeah. And like I said to you, the Namibian guys, um, they, they were in Joburg yesterday and they fly home tonight. So, okay. so it's even when we see them on the streets and that, we've got That's to yeah. congratulate awesome. them and yeah. we've got to, yeah. we've got to really... Yeah. Now the guys have done us proud in that, and, and we'll see if we can get one or two of the guys here and That's a lekker wees. chat to Gerard, the, the skipper, mm -hmm. and yeah. find yep. out what's happening. Um, it was a comment from the At this it stage, just people that have joined us, thank you for joining us, Sonia Brettschneider and also Terry Jenkinson, nice to have you on the show with us. Sonia, more Terry. What, what, what happened in Formula One? Well, that was, uh, <laughs> as we know, it's uh -huh. Max Verstappen. Mm -hmm. It just really showed his colors yesterday. It was, yeah, uh, right. But it was in America, it was Texas. Okay. Oh. Which is always bigger and better. Better. Yeah, 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 I can uh -huh. imagine. And it was, uh, uh, Max started in second uh, place and um, with 10 laps to go. Yes. He, his first pit stop was 2.1 seconds and his last pit stop was almost six seconds. Right. Lewis Hamilton had actually taken the lead. Lewis hasn't won a Formula One race this season. And um, with 10 laps to go, he was five seconds behind for Stappen. Mm. And then with the last two laps, he overtook him. And um, they, wow. it was, they've won the constructors now. Yes. Max Verstappen, world champ. Okay. Um, it's also and now he's equal Schumi's record of 13 Rara. races. 13 really? races in the season. Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. But how down to earth for Stappen is. He said he's not even going to count that. Because, right. No, they've got a lot more races now. 
yeah. sure. when, yeah. when, when Jimmy was uh, sure. Uh, maybe I could just add to that. Um, so, yeah, we, um, the newspaper is also reporting this morning that the uh, founder of Red Bull, uh, Dietrich Martischnitz, that he had passed away over the weekend exactly. as well. So, yeah, so for those of, those of you who are Red Bull fans, um, uh, the founder of Red Bull, uh, uh, Dietrich Martischitz, has passed away. And then down Dirk's uh, avenue there is mm. the, mic, the bikes. Um, yeah. We oh, also yes, had yes. GP yesterday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, once again, those Ducatis were just so quick. Uh, it was yes. Ducati 1 2, Fabio Quattararo on his Yamaha finishing third. Ducati's also wrapped up the constructors. But those bikes are just quick. Oh, let us, um, oh, let they us, are yeah. just yeah. fast. Yeah. Karen Malans says on the show, What is it with your cricket? Far so is ons not to bright. Nie. Karen, uh, yeah, maybe, but maybe I can add to this. Our Namibian uh, cricket team is really, really awesome. Mm. And, uh, you know, the fact that they didn't make it through to the other side is purely because the competitors were better. And, and the gameplay was a little bit different than what we thought it might have been. But to tell you the truth, Karen, our, we are extremely proud of our cricket, Namibian cricket, because we are doing so well. But we have one loop in order. We have one loop in order to win a match. And I can't do it in the But we must not forget, I mean, Namibia is one of the only countries mm -hmm. that we have only got Namibians mm. All right. our cricket side. Yes. You yes. Know, we, we could, we, we, we've right. got mm. money in that now. We could have bought an AB de Villiers or we could have mm. bought players from South Africa. Yes. But right. we've not done that. Yeah. Right. We've kept with it. We've only got the Namibians on our side. So all the youngsters, the kids that are playing cricket, I mean, you can go and have a look. They're all playing cricket in that because they can see they're gonna, they can qualify for mm. Namibia yes. and then to play for Namibia at the World Cup. Okay. It's an interesting question, what Karen asked, what did that get done? I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask Mark Barnard. Mark, as we look at the players, 15 jaar speel ons al cricket. Iwers dit moet die ons aangaan. Iwers dit moet die ons uitdree of of anders in snelle loopbane kyk. Het ons genoeg jong spelers wat vinnig genoeg kan toetree tot die game om Namibiese span verder te bevorder. Ek jy kan bietjie gaan kyk. Ehm en ek ek gaan vir hulle noem ons gaan met hulle gesels. IPS het 'n program met juniors. Ja, Africa Personal Service. Okay. So that's what this program with youngsters and juniors. And you can go and have a look next to the cricket field when there's club cricket being played. These youngsters running all over. These youngsters playing cricket. And like we spoke about last week with with the advent of TV and the social media. The guys are seeing. Hang on, you know. I also want to come on TV. I also want to go. Correct. I also want to uh, meet the, the, the Craig Williams. Yes. Yes. And yes. Now, uh, uh, visa, little Clay um, Gerard, mm -hmm. um, our skipper. So yes, we've got youngsters coming through. 2024. Um, it's our next World Cup. Mm -hmm. This has been. Look, last year we played in the T20. We went through to the 12s, Super 12s. Okay. So we did well. We were actually expected to go through this time. It was just a bad day at the office. It can yeah, happen. Yeah. I mean, we saw it yesterday with Australia. I mean, on Saturday they'd been bowled out for 111. Okay. I mean, it's just a bad day at the office. It was bad luck. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We deserve to go through. Yeah. And you know what? Yes, the uh, Namibian cricket is bright. The future is bright with the youngsters. I can oh, great. Yeah. Of that, of, of that last to be a ball of that, not with nervousness, was it? <laughs> for Tension sure. was it? Yeah, we had. I would just say, slan and. Ik bedoel, ik kan ik kan niet eens ik kan niet eens dan denken wie. Je weet dus jij weet als ik het niet doe niet verloren. Did you did you see did you see David Visser bat? He was almost there. He was he was literally this far away from from meeting us. He did. Ik heb het gezien en 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 bij dank je Mark en bij dank je bij dank je ook aan aan de huis de huis te kie. Een sport wat je voor ons gebracht hebt vrijdag, onze de definitief gebracht. Christo is ook op je show. Hij heeft net voor ons geantwoord. Dank je, Christo. Hij zei definitely Nam versus SA Test Series is going to be a humdinger. We are not talking about this coming weekend. For those that cannot be there, they can follow online the Gravity Lives YouTube and Facebook channels. And he's put the link below. Thank you for that, Christo. So now our viewers can also 
join the Gravity Live viewership. And then Vainan Breed says India-Pakistan game was also amazing. Yeah. And then you know what's happened. I mean, we talk a little bit of, uh, when it comes to the cricket now, Faf Duplessis, the ex yeah. uh, mm -hmm. skipper, yeah, mm -hmm. he's brought out a book. Um, it, I think it's coming out now on the 28th of October being launched. Okay. It looks like he's climbed into a lot of ex-players, ah, okay. into their characters. Okay. Oh, really? So I think they're in for some exciting stuff, yeah. Ooh, from okay. that as well. And then rugby. This weekend, obviously, Namibia is uh, on the 5th of November. We're playing, uh, we're playing against Krikos at yeah. the Hagi Gankop Stadium. Yeah. Um, we must actually see if we can't get someone there to, and we can do a bit of a okay. broadcast from there. Yeah. Um, Namibia is playing Krikos. And then this weekend we had the obviously the the league game Bulls had yeah. a good win, Stormers lost, and then the sad thing is we had the Lions and the Stormers mm -hmm. were to play this weekend against Cardiff and Glasgow, mm -hmm. and both sides got the stomach bug. What? Yeah, 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 the stomach bug. What the, the both teams? Both teams, both teams got the stomach bug. Well, there must be a virus of some sort, or what? Look, they said they were running on the beaches in Durban and Ecoli, et cetera, et cetera. Ooh, it is okay. just very sad. I mean, and now, um, so obviously both those games were, were postponed. Now, Rossi uh, right. from, from SA Rugby is very upset because now he's saying, when are we going to play it? Yeah, I've no your no time. Sure. I've been over your yes, yeah. for Lourdes and other games, of course, it's spill. No, yeah, they have actually said that they have to um, the games to play, but uh, Rossi says, no, they must just be doctor points. Oh, okay, but I mean, okay, what okay. kind of no time? We, we, sure, uh, sure. Because and, 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 yeah. and the, the ripple effect this has, for example, advertisers, television people, yes. um, that must must be. It's massive. It's huge. That's huge. I mean, it's and you know, you've got both the Lions mm. um, at Ellis Park. I mean, there'll be a lot of people that go and watch that mm. game because it's going mm. to net. And then obviously the Sharks. I mean, they're our top side at the moment. Uh, right. Right. But a lot of, um, even Sharky said he doesn't mm -hmm. think it was a virus. He thinks the guys were scared of it. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> 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 it's just, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so good as a virus. I see, you see. I get all this virus gehad for my metric end exam. It wasn't the curry, because Karen Malan says, all the curry. Yeah, we talk a bit to feel curry. Yeah, well, that work. Carry on. And, and, <laughs> and then, <laughs> carry on yeah. Other breaking news is Elton Yankees. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, he booked himself into rehab. Oh, as gevolg on van die, uh, Friday. <laughs> from, maybe from the dietitian. Ik wil het niet meer zien. Right. As gevolg van die dietitian. Now he booked himself into rehab. Okay. Um, I read the article. We're talking it was drugs. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Let's hope he just comes right. I mean, at the yeah. end of the day, one doesn't wish this on nobody. No, sure, sure. The only problem that I've got to this, the question I have, okay. is all top sportsmen get tested yeah. all the time. Mm. Right. So was so this not? Oh. So what is going on here? Do you know what I mean? Are we covering something? Is there maybe somebody covering something? Mm, mm. Is it the, only Elton? Is there somebody else? You know, there's been there has been a bit of smoke for the last month. You have to worry. Any other thing, Mark and I, and I talked to him under correction. Was that you? Question from the two? Yeah. It no whole lekker som gekeer en gedrink. Die voor die voor die die vorige aand en voor die voorval toen we terugkomen uit Zuid-Afrika toen. Wat ook onregelmatig is voor een professionele speler, zo zei. Je hebt ongelukkig extreem zonder 100% zonder. Je weet dat je yeah. een eiflak komt. Maar yeah. er is no shortcut. You, Look, you, you've got to behave, you've got to have discipline. If you are a rock star, a musician, like, 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 like me, like me, for instance, <laughs> then you know it's all drug, sex, rock and roll, and all of that is fine. But when it comes to sports, oh no, you're just not allowed to do that. It's part and parcel of the game. But all, all top sports are tested. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know they are, they are tested all the time. You take a guy like Evan Etzebet, who's massive, and oh, they yeah. test him all the time because of, you know you're not allowed to use steroids. You're not allowed to use anything. Yeah. So yeah. it's just a sad story that. But you know what? There's this uh, Manny Lebok, another youngster. He's that put him into the Springbok side. So okay. you know, Elton's actually had his turn. You can move him aside now. Sure. The youngsters coming. Sure. We've got to start building. Yeah, this. Building yeah I think I think it's a it's a air chapter geschreven. Yeah. I would yeah. think it is, and it's by Yammer, the half the spiller. Nee. Yeah, by the half this pillar. Can we now officially say that on InfoStream we have Sports Mondays? I hope so. We need it by Mr. Mark Barnard. It's actually his show. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's even for you. It's a handtaking for us. It's a Sports Monday. 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 It's a
you know, show, show exactly the same question that everybody's asking about the youngsters. Yeah. Let's really get the school sport going. Yeah, that's right. So if you are out there and you've got any form of inroads into sports, be in touch with us on the screen at the bottom. You can just pop us a WhatsApp. We'll give it through to our sports division, which is Mark, and um, we will explore that further. If your business is involved in sports and you would like to advertise your product and your services, please also be in touch with us here on InfoStream. Um, uh, rechts van onthou woensdag, alhoewel hierdie woensdag is ons uh, van ons daar gesels van SKW Sportgronde, as yes. alles goed gaan, uh, is ook die dag waarop ons motorzake gesels. InfoStream Namibia takes you on a whole new journey by car, motorcycle or lorry. A journey of intrigue ideas from A to B or even C and D. Motoring on InfoStream Namibia, a whole new world a whole new journey. Keep your motor running. Head on down the highway. Infosphere Namibia Motoring. Everything you need to know about Namibia's motoring industry. Macaulay's workshop. Macaulay's workshop. Macaulay's workshop. They were also yeah. here in the took over the listen, weekend. Listen, listen, they, they, yeah, they, 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 yeah, look, I mean, Mike Mac McCullough, he's, he's, he's like famous in South Africa, actually worldwide. But he's looking at me a young man. No, 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 and he originally, he's, he, he uh, uh, wrote that song, The Buccaneer, Jokke if you can remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and there was Macaulay's workshop, but I don't know how they presented themselves now in Namibia over the past weekend. But I mean, Macaulay's is, is just, what a, what a band. I mean, group of musicians, unbelievable. It's um, uh, Mark, I will turn to the sport. Toe, um, and the other thing that I think for us, deelnemers, the ones that today are in the schaak list, and also friends that you can know, because Facebook works so. Um, you look uh, maybe today and after that time, you have a friend with a friend or a friend. I think what, what I think we don't have to wait for, and this is not a friendly pursuit, uh, wat die ouders doen baie goed, is fietsrij in mm. Namibia. Mm. Die fietsrijers doen geweldig goed. Um, ek weet dat, dat Paratis het uh, groot borg gewees, en natuurlijk dan ons per, per sport. Ons showjumping en, en ons uithou uh, renne. En dan natuurlijk het klomp anders. Uh, Boogskit is nog ene, skyfskit is een ander een, maar as jylle weet van die ouders wat deelneem, selfs jikskei, yes. jy weet as ek kyk hoeveel spanne speel, uh, daar by vintage, uh, daar langs vintage, mm -hmm. Je weet so die sport, je fietsrijers, um, Holland sit baie, baie geld in fietsrij in elke jaar. Dis autowetrenen, dis dus enzo meer, dis die desert dash. Die paardrijers en natuurlijk al die ander sporte. Dat weet vir ons, dat kan ons vermaak dit deurgee en uh, maak jy het uh, kaart blanche om oor die sporte gesels wat jy goed dink. Ek dink ons skole sport kan, ons kan baie meer aandag geef. Ja, dat is En dan en natuurlijk ding waar ek baie opgewon is, um, is uh, ons soek dat ook iemand wat sê, maar goed, um, ek gaan paar staan vir die sport geleef, uh, dat in die vorm van een advertentie of een borstkap, mm -hmm. yeah. um, dit sal baie, baie lekker wees, en uh, ons sal die woord gestand doen, dier uh, voorwaar vir julle top nieuws te bring oor sport hier op InfoStream op maandag. And then we can also take this to, to the golf days. If you've got yes, corporate, yes, yes, corporate golf yes, days, for sure, we can for go sure. and you can get more mileage from sure. corporate golf day. We yeah. can go do it on the golf course. We sure. can actually have a chat to yeah. one or two golfers. Fantastic. Uh, this that that sounds cricket, brilliant. You know yes, uh, this is one of Calvi's dreams uh, from what we began. I said, the best thing to do and we begin to do is that we are more by the people. We, this is the main side, and that's not always fun either. Sure, and we'd like to be in your business or yeah. part of your endeavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we're here. So you're welcome to contact us. Um, our WhatsApp number is 0842 8233. Want that's the four code. It's plus 264 and 81. I want to go, before I forget, and I'm doing this this time, I've got from Gert, there from Camp Hogo, Mm -hmm. Het ik gesê, vir oogend een ding gesê, toe sê, uh, dis bitter droog hier by ons. En ja. ek het thuis daar aan de Roendoese wereld. Um, en ek het vir hom al genooi, een paar keer, en vir hom gesê, luister hier zo. Is dit nou droogte in termen van die rivier? Van die rivier of, of, en die droogte oor die achtwind. So, so it's ons, not raining that much in Angola? Nee, koos, ja, precies, koos okay. oorgeel wat sê hy. Mare, Bergas, mare, 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 kem hoogo, kem hoogo. <laughs> ja, ons het allemaal een bykie reen gekry gistamarag. We hebben vannacht 2 meter, 2 millimeter gekregen. Toen zijn, toen zijn we weg. Ja, en dan met de temperatuur een beetje afgebrand. Toen kon onze man weer asemal. De rivier is bijna laag. 
Ekan ni aku paling ni rumah ibu dari ini. Islam, Is di perkara Islam tu koron. Mereka Is bayar lah. Di mana sih tap dengan dua ratus dir. Ani yang kanto dene anak kan. Tak ada apa ya le. Nau nau dah tu sih nau. Dis natuurlijk, as jy sê, mense stap dier, dan is dit is Namibie en Angola. Dis wat nou daar gebeur. Jy weet, en dan die ander ding is, as hy nou net in Disney Barita sit, met so laag water, kan jy net jou verbeel hoeveel vis gaan nou gevang word. Not only that, also if the water is so low, it doesn't follow all the way through into Botswana, as in other words, the water runs short. And that obviously then affects animal migration patterns. Well, the greatest problem that we saw last year was that in in the area of the Kavango, and naturally also the border to the to the Konene to and so on, is the the pool of water gets smaller for sea kooi. And and this is naturally a great problem. We have seen that there are great numbers of sterfters. I saw a bit with Mark Baxter and the manager cells, where of and us with Ben Schneider cells. Oor die project wat begin is dier die eerste keer maak in die geschiedenis wat seekoeie getag word. Wat hulle basis transmitters opzet om te kyk na hulle gedragspatroone. Eerste keer in die geschiedenis aan die Namibiese kant. Interessante story misschien vir morgen. I've got one final sports question if you don't mind. Just to come back to Mark. And this actually comes from Karen Malan. And she now stuurt, die het iets in my opgewek, Karen. Sy sê, ons rugby girls moet nog een pad loop. Nou, obviously, Karen is in Zuid-Afrika. Wat is ladies rugby like in Namibia? Because I see it more and more and more on TV. I've watched um, I've watched a game or two um, at the Hagi Gaikop Stadium. Okay. Um, look, we, we, we total amateurs I mean, compared to, sure, to, sure. to the others. Even South Africa. I think South Africa played England yesterday. We lost uh, 78-0. Whoa. Springboks against the English mm. uh, um, girls, a ladies team, yeah. Okay. And that, um, you know, then if you take South Africa comp and they they are semi-professional. Mm -hmm. Now the Namibian ladies, there's there's quite a few clubs now when actually yeah. go into yeah, that yeah. as well. I'll, okay. I'll get hold of uh, Snooky there and find out exactly right. who we can go talk to. Perhaps. But there's some good ladies uh, rugby coming through. And uh, maybe if you've got the contacts, maybe we can interview yeah, them. That we then then we hear it out of the horse's mouth. Kijk, ja, ik het, ik, ik weet zelf, of weet met de dingen gehad bij vorige maatschappij. Eén dag is het klomp dames wat bij passie vol is. Ja. Je zult hem al wel regelen oefenen bij Hagi Gaint op stadio. Eén, maar die probleem is, is zoek ook naar die rechte africhters. Eén, in die bijstand. Je weet van het gaat over financiële bijstand in zijn meer. I just find, and that is just what I what I think, is that. They they must have had such a difficult path to build it up to where it is now, not not only in Namibia or in South Africa. I think worldwide, you know, where it it it, it was totally seen as this male only sport, and I've got to be honest with you, I saw some uh, not the entire game between the box and and the and, and England, but that rugby was brilliant. And I, I, I can almost tell you that I saw a couple of moves there that <laughs> that I think a couple of other guys wouldn't have been able to pull off. Yeah, but so this I actually saw a documentary just before the World Cup. Okay. Um, on on the uh, Springbok lady side. Right. And a lot of those ladies have got children in that. Yeah. And, and they are working in the day. Then right. they go to the gym. Right. And they come back and look after their kids. Yes. Then they go to to rugby training. And wow. Oh, so it's, it's amazing. And a lot of and a lot of these ladies are. Like we said, it's, it's total amateurs. Yeah. Yeah. You know, exactly yeah. where in Namibia, when I played for, for, for Namibia cricket, and when we were amateurs, you can see the difference between then and what the guys are doing today. Yes. I mean, if, you, if you've been earning a salary, okay. remember you mind. So in the morning, at yeah. 8 o'clock, we were in the gym. We were in the gym for three hours. Right. In the afternoon, we've got diabetes. <laughs> right. We've got dietitians to make sure we eat properly. Yes. In the afternoons, we're training. In the evenings, we're back in the gym. Mm. There's a big difference between amateur and, and professional. Maar die, maar die ons, ons dames uh, cricket span ook neem. Yes. Mm. Ons dames en Namibiese dames cricket span uh, doen eigenlijk baie, baie goed. Mm. En het baie competerend geworden tegenover Zuid-Afrika bijvoorbeeld. Ja. En Joop Nels is so Crystal Kotze. Um, ek weet nie of enig iemand van Crystal ken nie. Ek ken haar nie. Um, I, I, I guess you're referring to Crystal being part of Namibia Women Rugby. Joop. Ja, so, so we'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. 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 We'll find
wonderlijke maandag met, met de klomp sport en die sportbank kan vol worden. Ja. Je weet vooral als ons um, mensen krijgen om te beginnen samengesteld. Yes. Raar waar, want ons zien die aanwas en belangstelling en infostream nummer weer is bezig om te groeien bij bij dank in allemaal van jullie bedeel niet op een gereelde basis. Ons anders uh, nieuws honden hmm. uh, daar in die vrijstaat zoals Pietle en andere mensen is um, bijstel. Maar jij het een interessante ding vertel van Eskom, wat die nou weer gebeurt. Ja, ja wat, gister aan de kaart plaats. Ik kaart plaats ik gister aan en als uh, plaatsen daar. En het is 44 kV power lights. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. And they had a document. Well, they were just discussing with the farmer what was going on, and they, they, they heard a noise in it, and the power was switched off. Oh, like like a uh, 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 beard crack. It, 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 it was like they said it wasn't off. load shedding. It yeah. was oh. just switched it was off. Cut off. And then the next minute, the power, power lines were cut, and the tools in that that were used, they showed it last night, are all from Esco. My word. And we're talking of 80 kilometers of 44 kV. I mean, the lady said, I mean, you, you, can't, you cannot come 12 meters near that cable. I mean, if it's on. You know yeah. what I mean? And I mean, these guys are just amazing. It's just the, professional. The, it's professional and, and it's inside. Yeah. Unbelievable. And I can't but that I can't but it's been up. Yeah. This yeah. Is and then, no, and then the logistics food. involved to move 80 kilometers worth of electric cables. Maar I mean, you need lorries, you need people. Maar dit is mij eigenlijk de andere vraag. Waar wordt het verkoop? Wie koopt het? Wie is die koper? Hij koper is niet zo so aandarig en die moest dat zien. Er is anders er. En dan wordt het iwerster, wordt het verwerk. Dat verwerkingsproces is niet zo so aandarig als die een wat gesteel het. Dat is hele precies. Well. You would, uh, this, that this was my net said, and they said the farmers were actually, they were going and they were pulling down the cable and they were actually putting it in the storage to help us go. Yeah. Because yeah. they know, I mean, it's never ever going to get replaced, is it? So it's, it's sure. a problem. Sure. It's sad, it's sad. Sad. No, good. That's it. No, it's no, for that us. is it. Um, I had net a boodschap here <coughs> gekry, uh, and this is from Rolf Hansen from the Kanker Vereniging. Onthou net uh, die Apple project. Mm -hmm. uh, eindig bij bank windhoek takken die 31 oktober. Um, die verzoek is maar net die alle radiostaties en uitzaars. Um, daar is die, die kankerproject wat in die gang is, die appelproject. Uh, voor die van jullie wat nog wil bestel, jullie kan bij die bank windhoek takken, kan jullie gaan bestel of schakel dan die uh, kanker um, associatie van de MBA. Als jullie meer inlichting wil krijgen. En een a day keeps the doctor away. Yes. <laughs> en een paar andere goed. Yes. Uh, weet je van hoe dat werkt, die man? Goed, jullie bij, dank je voor jullie uh, wonderlijke maandag. Bij, dank je, Mark. Ja, yeah, thanks, bye, Mark. Mark. It was nice having you again. Uh, great, zien uit dat volgende maandag. Um, ik weet niet hoe gaan volgende maandag ook het lijkt niet. Want dit gaan we eens na die Oktoberfeest, die Navik en Windhoek. Of course, kijk maar. Ja. Ons gaan we kijken van waar ze uit zijn. Red eyes. Ja. <laughs> Donkerbrillen allemaal van ons. <laughs> Goed, gedraai jullie zelf in een rustige maandag en een mooie week van allemaal. Cheers, bye. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and you can also WhatsApp us. Please do us a favor and like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon, so you can get an update when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for now. Hope to see you next time.